the video that you're about to see took over 20 hours to produce. So if you could hit that like and subscribe button, it would mean a lot to me. Anyways, on to the video. So I was thinking around a month ago for some ch video ideas. A couple I came across were make an NPM library, you know, make a coding language, or even delete my channel. The third one was pretty compelling, I must say. But as you saw, I went for the second one. And now that the project has been done, it was a terror. Okay, so I decided to search it up, and and it's not like I didn't find anything. I actually found very good resources. But the thing is, uh, I, I've been diagnosed, terminally ill actually, with uh, a disease called stupidity. Because of that, I really can't read, so um, I went to YouTube for some answers. The video is actually by Code Pulse, and it's pretty good. Uh, the only fact is that it's way too long and also each of these are like 20 minutes long and also uh he kind of copies and pastes a lot of things into it so if you are looking to make this on your own and this is me being serious here you're gonna have to each of these videos is gonna take around either like 30 minutes to an hour if you're fast at typing and you know me again or terminate you know, with stupidity it took me an hour for each of them well, um, there goes my spring break, 15 hours also. A couple of stats for all you nerds out there. Uh, this language was actually created in Python, if you are blind like me. Uh, there you go, it says Python. And I actually use a tutorial. I understand probably like 10% of this. Yeah, I'll say that. If you ask me something random, like what does this do, right, this? This is probably like actually an error for a while. Okay, so I understand that. Didn't my example probably failed, but shush. Mm -hmm. I barely understand what like this does. If I read it, I will, but like I'm too lazy for that. Again, I told you I'm diagnosed with terminally ill stupidity. So there was only one thing but to run it. Now I tested this out before, obviously, just so I don't look stupid on um the video. So I'm just gonna click this and hope for the best, you know. Wait, the Python extension starts to load. Okay, we're back. So, as you guys can see, it gives you glow with this. And if I put in 2 plus 5, it will output 7 fairly quickly. And it's basically, but now I hear you ask, right? Yo, glow stick. How do you do proper coding in this? This is just math. Yeah, here, I got you. Okay, I'm ready. If we do var equals number, let's just say number, right? Equals 5. And then if we add plus 5. And then we get 10, which is correct. Again, I hear you ask. Yadnung skull. This could just be adding 5 plus 5 and ignoring the rest. Well, again, I have something for you. This, again, you, I hear you still. You probably say, oh, well, how do you do more to line code in this, right? This is just one line. Well, I thought of that. I know. I, I'm big brain. Right? I didn't thought of it. Actually, the guy did. But like, shush, shush, shush. If we do var, right, number equals 5 and then at a semicolon i know i know this may be a bit complex and and then if we do if number equals five okay then print right well, let's say what, what do you want print subscribe i agree there we go subscribe definitely says subscribe no your your eyes are just wrong trust me trust me but oh my god oh um Okay, so minor error there, but shh, 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 Okay, we don't talk about that. Anyways, as you guys can see, it ran perfectly. So, let's actually get... But now, again, I hear you ask, yo, you numbskull, for like the fifth time, stop bullying me. Um, This is just one line, okay? No one wants to code in one line of code. Well, I got you again. What we do, right? We call something called an old switcheroo. Create a new file. I know, I know, I know. Oh, hold on, hold on, wrong folder, my bad. Great. New file, right? And what would you call it? We're, we're gonna call it test.py. Yeah. Yeah, test. No, well, wrong, wrong, wrong. Oh, yeah. Okay. Here, see, we got it correct. First try. Definitely not scripted. But now, if we put in print, be gone, bot, like a god there, right? And we put in, put in here, run, put on, hold on, better get the test. 
Dot glow. Boom! It works like a god. Come at me. And now for the fifth time, I hear you ask. You numbskull. What if somebody puts in like dot .py? Again, I counted for that, bro. My brain is so big. No, it's not. I have like the worst brain ever. I have no idea what this actually does. But, already, ready? With just a couple lines of code. What you can do, hit them with the run. Hit them with the run. Hold on, if I can spell run. Yeah, here we go. If we hit them with the test.py, maybe. Hmm? Boom. File type isn't even supported. Fight me. And the best thing about that is he didn't even mention that in the tutorial. I did that by myself. And why did I be by myself? I used another tutorial. Fight me. Okay, now that you've seen me screw around with the language and call myself bad. Oh my, what the hell? What did I just do? What did I just do? Sorry, I fixed it there. But now that you got me, let's actually run a proper language. Hold up, first let me look at my own docs. Let me, uh, let me know what to write. Okay, now that I definitely checked my docs and totally not scripted this. If we do four... I equals to zero, say that, right? Random, random, completely random, not scripted again. And click five, right? So this will just go to, actually, no, let's make it, let's make it a bit better. 69, nice. Make it then, not then return, bro. This is my language, not yours. Fight me, tab nine. Anyways, we're gonna print, right? I'm gonna print something saying it's going up. Okay, yeah, that should be good. And now, at the end of this, right, we have to add end because we do don't ask and then even we can add we can add, get nice with it ready we can add a comment saying if you don't like you will not be my friend yeah punch percent and i spelled friend correctly no you're wrong now let's go i can't even spell my own language bro what is this Boom, 69 times. Whoever wants to read this, go ahead. And I'm scrolling up. You can see the scroll bar right here. I'm scrolling. Yeah, whoever wants to go <laughs> and read it. Whatever legend does it, though, 100% got respect you. And by the way, see this, um, see that, uh, if, I can't even read numbers now. What is this? Yeah, see that zero there? That's meant to be there. I can't get rid of it. Don't ask, okay? I'm bad. I'm not good at coding, right? So now you know how the language actually works. I had two, basically, choices to make. I think that's how choices work, at least. I don't know, I'm stupid. But I can make my language um, a downloadable, where you convert it, where you download it as an exe file, and you can run it off that. Or I can make it as um, an IDE, an online IDE, where you can type in your code, click the run button, and boom, it runs your output. And... This was a tough choice, but I'm not gonna lie, I didn't really know how to make an IDE, right, like online. I don't know how to import it, I would have to use Flask and hosting, it would just be a bit too much for me. So I went with just a basic, I made it into an EXE. So I tried twice trying to get this to work. Um, the first time I used NSIS, which is a compiler, I guess, which converts it all into one EXE. I tried it and I made all these into one, hoping it would work, but it did not. And instead, it just created an installer instead. So then, I actually resorted to another plan, plan B, you guys might say, where I actually combined this all into one. And then I changed up a bit of the code so it all worked out. This actually did work. And then I, I ran it through Pinestaller to grab an exe version of it. As you guys can see right here, glow.exe. And then I went a bit one step further because this file size was around 165 megabytes. I wanted to shorten it down a bit. So I actually ran it through an installer just to make it a bit more professional. And because NSIS creates an installer for you, I ran it through that and I got like a really small installer. It's 61 or 60. It's like around 60 megabytes, so shortens that a bit. But now I actually have a, a glow setup, so looks a bit more professional, I guess. So the final version that you guys have been waiting to see is right here in front of me. It's pretty simple, and in the next version, this is probably going to change a bit. Going to make it look better, I guess. And it's the same thing, just in the EXE version. If I do 2 plus 5, it works. If I do test, or if I do run... Just stop. Glow. 
if I can, oh my god, I can't do this, if I do, <laughs> test.glow, boom, it works just like regular, uh, I just don't have it in the directory where this is running from, so yeah, make sure it's in the directory, I can pass in a path if I'd like, but I'm too lazy to do that, you know me, so yeah, it's the same thing, just in the exe form that will be actually available for download for you guys, so now I'm going to show you how I integrated it into my actual website because you guys have to download it from somewhere so the time lapse that you're about to see is around 40 minutes ish so enjoy that and then i'll get back to you and show you the final result Okay, so that little time lapse that you just saw there, that was like around 45 minutes, I already told you this, and I just made in the beginning a bit of quality of life changes, you could say maybe, and made just like all the buttons look better, and everything like that. This is how the old one looks, and as you guys can see, it's like that, and it just looks a bit old, the buttons, and right here, you have a lot of space that I don't like, and then just like so, about me. On the new one, actually, it's right here. It's on my local host. Uh, by the time this video comes out, it will be pushed. But this is how the new one actually looks. So I did change up the colors because the season is different, at least in my time. And yeah, it's like springish and, you know, blue. Blue is just nice. And then this is mostly the same. I made this so it's not a clickable. And also, I changed up the buttons to look a lot more modern. In this one, if you hover right over it, you could see like a small outline there, which didn't look the best and looked a bit old. And now, like, it's a bigger outline and it goes downward. So, and it's a bit lighter also. All these buttons are the same, they just look a lot better. And then in About Me, I added a whole new tab and I took out my email. Um, and projects. So, right here, it has two. I have Chillbot. So, if you just click on this, it will actually open it up and, and you can invite my bot. In this one, Glow is actually the one that I've been working on. So, if we were to click this here, uh, I opened it a new tab on purpose. But, it's just pretty small. Um, Yeah. And if you'd like to download it, right, you click here. And I actually got the download link. I couldn't actually put it in from next.js. It gave me mad errors. So instead, I grabbed the download link from Discord, so it's kind of hosted via Discord. It's still like the same. It's fast. And boom, as you guys can see, installed. I'm just going to cancel because I already have like three of these. And then you can set it up. If Microsoft does say it's a virus and you're going to die, I'm telling you right now, it's not. I have many people check this over. I've showed you the source code. If you don't believe me, I can actually send the source code to you so you can check and run it yourself. It's like around 2,000 lines of code. So, if you don't trust me, sure, that's, yeah. But, you know, I've had many people check it, Chronic, Foxy, everybody like that. They've checked it out, and they've, you know, approved it, I guess. And then, if you want to just go back to the website, you can click that button. And here, the coming screen, I'll actually explain what this is. This doesn't bring you anywhere, because these are going to be the docs. I'm still working on the docs because it's going to take a bit more time and, you know, it's the whole docs for the thing. But it will be out soon, maybe in a week or two. And then you guys can actually find out the full docs. Till now, you guys can just look at the code that I put out. And, yeah. But that's basically all that I've worked on on the, what you just saw. It's all, and then I changed up the colors just to make it look a bit better. But yeah, that's my whole coding language right there. Um, it's been real fun to make, and I hope you guys can enjoy it as much as I did. So, it's gonna be pretty epic. If you guys want to see like a tutorial series, like probably only five episodes because it's not that big of a language, on how to actually use the language and like stuff like that, so you don't have to read the docs if you're like me, terminally or with stupidity, can't read really. So, yeah, if you want that, let me know down below in the comment section if you want me to do another so i did project i'm open to ideas okay i'm always open to ideas so you guys can always tell me what you want next and yeah i hope you enjoyed if you did this took over 20 hours to film produce edit make so 
it would really mean a lot if you could hit subscribe. I already told you, and I'm not trying to be annoying, but yeah, it would really help out the channel. But anyways, that's going to be it for today's video. I really hope you enjoy it. Until next time, we'll see y'all. See ya.